Hey dads and lads, it's Rokebeer, and today I'm here to share the easiest way to put clothing and hats on NPCs in Roblox Studio. I previously made a video about this in 2017, which is starting to rack up quite a negative reception, which I do deserve because the video was 11 minutes, and it was very unorganized, and it was just a big rant, basically. A big mess, so I would not recommend you watch that one. But without further delay, let's start this video. To start, you'll need two things. The first is my outfit template model, and secondly, a plugin by a user named FoundThere, and the plugin is entitled Catalog Loader. I'll have both those links in the description if you guys need those for your convenience, but you can also search them in Studio or you can search them on Roblox itself and you can find them. Now that you have everything you need, you'll head to Roblox Studio here. I just opened a new template here to demonstrate for you guys. So now that we're in here, you wanna open up your toolbox, which is right here in the Home tab. Uh, models, if you subscribe to it, it should show up in My Models here in the inventory. And of course I made it, so it's going to show up in my models. But all you need is this template here that I made, and I have it linked in the description again if you guys need it, or you can search it in the models. I'm sure it'll come up. Let's look up outfit. If I could type here, that'd be nice. Outfit template. There it is, the first one if you guys look up outfit template in the toolbox. For convenience of you guys, if you don't want to get in the download description. It's not a download, sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. So you close toolbox, that's all you need in there. Afterwards, you head into Plugins, this tab at the top. You guys might need to go into Manage Plugins if you guys don't have it. I'm not sure if it's on by default, but here you see it needs to be blue pinged there. And then we have it up. So to get your hats in, or faces or clothing, whichever you want to do, you open up the plugin and you'll be brought to this menu here. It says Catalog Loader. Insert the ID of the catalog item and then the, the bunch of random numbers. If you just hit load here, it's going to load a Roblox hat by default, and you can see function have ran. Function have ran, yeah, I guess so. And here, hit F, we zoom to it. There's that default hat I was talking about. And this is an important part right here, guys, so make sure you pay attention. Uh, you want to open this with that arrow, and you see that this is a like a wizard hat kind of thing. You do not want to drag the model itself. You want to drag the wizard hat, and you drag that into the outfit template. And as you can see, it immediately snapped to his head perfectly how it would fit on a normal Roblox character. And it's as simple as that. You have your hat on the character. And you can do as many hats as you want because this is an actual Roblox. There's no limit. This is just in the studio. So, you know, have fun. You can test out how many hats you want to here. But that's for hats. I'll show you uh, shirts, pants, and faces right here. So we'll go back into our catalog loader. And I didn't show you guys how to get the ID here. I am going to go to my avatar shop. Sorry, I haven't been here for a while. There's the script up there that I'm not using. I ignore that, please. <laughs> um, so it depends on which one you want. Here's you can see a bunch of hats. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a Halloween theme since Halloween's here. So let's grab these Wicked Devil Horns by Dysoft. And you want the numeric value here. So you want the numbers in between catalog and the item name. So either you can just click it here. It's going to take everything. You can click off and drag it there. Or I suggest getting good at just double clicking it and then you have it. Then you hit control C on your keyboard to copy it. You go back into studio. You click there. Control V to paste it. Load it. It's in the workspace. You can hit F to go to it. There we have our item in the game. Very useful plugin that catalog loader. You can take anything pretty much out of the catalog and put it in the game. So same thing I said from before. You want to take the the hat, put it in there. Should zoom to it. And as you can see, we have both hats on him now. A demonic looking uh, <laughs> new new player there. So uh, you can delete. You can just delete that model after you already moved it. There's nothing in there. So as you can see, we have two hats on him. Hey guys, Rookbeer here. Uh, I'm editing the video right now, and there's a point I wanted to make. I had to cut out some footage to save time in the video, but there are certain hats, especially ones that go on the back, and maybe the waist and shoulders as well. I have not tested waist and shoulders, but especially the back, that will not uh, clip right to the back, and you'll have to manually move it. The only problem with that is that is not how you're supposed to do it. And I am not certain how to fix that. So if you know, please comment in the description. I mean, the, in the comments. Uh, please let me know how you put that on. And help other people out. I'm sure they can go check down there if, they, if you know. 
but I don't know. I just want to make a note of that. So uh, yeah, thanks. This yet, but let's quickly do face, shirt, and pants. I'll try to make this short. This video short because I promised it would not be 11 minutes like the last one. We're gonna take something Halloweeny. I let whatever Halloween fade hoodie. Very nice. Double click that. Go back into Roblox. Open up our catalog loader. Control V. Same as always. Except this time, you will not see anything spawn. Hit F and go try to go to it. There's nothing there. But it's the same thing you would do if it was a hat. So you would just see there's a shirt here. You drag it in there. And you're going to say, wait, where's the shirt? <laughs> so on my template, I have the shirt and pants already on there. If you're using this new technique that I'm showing you here today, you can just delete the shirt and the pants. Because you're going to replace them. That's for the old method in the last video, which is very unorganized. I do not recommend you watch that one. But I would just delete those, those shirt and pants that are already in there. And see, as you can see, the shirt fits perfectly. It's nice. It has the texture without on these extra steps. Very easy. And the same method can be used for pants. We'll have some ripped jeans on our, our guest character here. So, the same method as before. Catalog loader, control V, load. Forgot to delete this one. Now we have this. It's the same as before. Zoom in on there. Boom. Perfect. And real quickly, I also promised faces. Stitch face. Alright, so copy that bad boy. Uh, plugins, catalog loader. Load that in. So I'm trying to speed up here because I don't want it to take too much of your time. Face. It's got to go on the head this time. It doesn't just go in the outfit template. It has to go on the head because that is where it is going to end up. You don't want the face to be in the arm or something, so it goes on the head and not the left arm. Although, if you wanted to put it there, you can put the decal wherever you want it. Say you want it on as like a t-shirt, you just put it on torso. And it should show up there. But as you guys can see, your outfit template is looking pretty nice. You Obviously, if you want to get rid of that name, you double, well, don't, you rename. Right click, and boom. Erase it. Sorry. <laughs> space. Enter. You put a space, and then you enter. I don't think you can have it empty. And that way, if you're doing any video creating or something, the name doesn't show up. So, that is pretty much everything. If you wanted to change the color, the skin tone, you just select all these parts here. Go into, where is color? Brick color. I missed it here. And as you can see, it changes the skin tone to whatever you want it to be. Let's just make it orange. Actually, that orange really does not match. So let's just leave it as what it is. We'll make him white. There you go. And yeah, that's everything in this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm trying to keep it short here. So I'll edit some parts out to try to minimize the length. But if you guys, if this helped you guys, please comment, like it, subscribe perhaps, uh, hit the bell if you want to see more uploads. There's going to be more tutorials, but it's going to be mainly gaming. This is just because I did a tutorial in the past, and it was very outdated and very unstructured. Just a bad video, so don't watch it. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next one, hopefully.